Right, so this is uh, the uh, system map, or, or um, yeah, this is the system map basically in in map form for a system called uh, Arena. Um, I'm just doing this to give you an example of what what different systems can look like. So here we have the Star Arena. It's a single star uh, system. This it's not like a binary or trinary or anything. Um, so it starts with an asteroid belt. Then we've got the first planet with it, all its moons, and I'll come back to that bit later. Uh, and then we've got the next planet and so forth. And this this is um, a mission objective, this is what I'm doing in the system. So I've got something to deliver to Engel Orbital, which is a space station. Uh, I've got something to deliver on this surface um, of this moon here, Arena 4B. Uh, how the settlement on the surface, that's what the little blue thing on the crescent is for. Um, so, let me go into the orrery view and we'll see something a little more interesting. So if we zoom right in, that's what the plus means, you can zoom in to see more. So that's right into the star. So we'll just zoom out a little bit now. Okay, so... So there's the first planet, nice normal orbit. There's the third planet. Where's the second planet? Right, so let's zoom into the first planet. And there you see that as well as having its own moon system, this first planet in Arunet has the second planet actually orbiting it. But it is a planet, it's not a moon. Apparently, um, that's that's the second planet, and the second planet, of course, has its own satellite to A and to B. That's the the way. So basically, for for a given system, the planets get numbers like one, two, three, four. Then the moons of the planets get letters like A, B, C, D. Now, when you've got um, a planet that goes around more than one star, say you've got like a binary system where the two stars are quite close to each other and the planets actually go around both of them with the two sort of stars doing a Paso Doble uh, then they, that they're called AB1, AB2 and so on uh, and in a system where you've got like an A star, a B star and a C star then the planets might get called A1, B1, B2, C1, C2, C3 etc like that Anyway, so we zoom back out. So you see, so that was it. the second planet's going around the first planet. And we got the third planet. Let's zoom in and have a look at what's going on with the third planet. Oh, look. See, the fourth planet in this system goes around the third planet. Go figure. And yet again, you see here, this one's on a tilt. So its moons are going around it on a different plane to the... The main elliptical plane of the system and if we just uh, pan over here a little you see this one it's all all in plane slightly slightly out but mainly in plane look um, yeah there are the there are those satellites so and the fifth planet here so what's going on here? We've got the third planet. The fourth planet goes around the third planet. The fifth planet goes around the fourth planet. <laughs> ah, what fun. Right. Let's have a look at the sixth planet. It's less bonkers. Just got some regular old moons, look. There are. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, yep, but that's... So that's a look at a slightly more interesting system. But wait, that's not all. That's not all. Hold on a second. So what, what, what else did we have to look at? So, yeah. So let's go and have another look at, at the third moon of the third planet because this moon has its own moon
Right, so 3C. Yeah, look at that. The moon's got its own moon. I don't even know what you call one of those. A moonlet? I don't know. It's more complicated than uh, cousins, isn't it? Anyway, whatever. But uh, yeah, I thought you might enjoy seeing that. That's what some of these systems can look like. It's a good idea to stop and have a look around, smell smell the uh, metaphorical roses, uh, rather than just rushing from one place to another in an attempt to get stuff done. After all, because you know, I'm I'm very goal orientated, not a process orientated person. But um, there there is there is interesting uh, interesting scenery in the in the galaxy to to uh, stop and take a look at every now and again. Okay, so I'm in this system here, right? Um, LHS2435. I cannot understand for the life of me why there are so many fleet carriers here. Check out how many fleet carriers there are in this system. Just look at this. And these are not interesting planets. They're just icy bodies. In most cases they have atmospheres, which means you can't land on them at all. This is like the middle of nowhere and it's Fleet Carrier City. Look at all these. I can't even zoom out far enough to show you them all. Look at that. Bonkers. I mean, look how many there are just around that one planet. All of those, all of those, just around that one planet. It's the only planet you can actually land on. Oh no, you can land on that one as well. And that one's got plenty in orbit around it as well. This one can't land on. Loads of, look at that. Bonkers. Um, if anyone can explain to me what they're all doing there, please do. 